We're going to install Model 3 9 h glass with the oleophobic coating on it, fingerprint resistant, clear glass protection for the Tesla Model 3 uh, display. So let's get started. We're going to go through it and open it up. All you need is a little bit of painter's tape. This is really going to make installation super simple. We're going to make a hinge across the top. This will take two minutes to put in. All right, now the first step in installing this is to put your screen into screen cleaning mode. The second step, if you have a new vehicle and you have the Tesla clear vinyl screen protector that they give you with the car and they usually don't deliver these, they usually don't remove these at delivery, is to remove that. So you open it up, you're gonna find three small packets one of them is the wet cloth for cleaning. The second one is the dry cloth for dusting. And the third one, of course, is the dust absorber that you'll use to take out specks of dust that you might notice on your screen. So anyway, let's get started. But let's use the cleaning packet, open it up. And this actually helps collect dust. So we recommend you go over the whole surface and you'll notice it's just an alcohol prep pad, but it's really good because it does grab and drag all the dust off with it. It gets all the fingerprints off. And once you're satisfied with it, use number two. Number two is a small, thin microfiber towel. So you're gonna use this, get it nice and perfect. And then we're ready to start installation. Don't worry about dust at this point because once we pull off the backing, we might get some static electricity. And in that case, we're gonna use number three, which is a super sticky decal for pulling off dust, all right? So now let's open it up and let's take a look at what you've got. Again, this is oleophobic coated 9H super hard glass. Same thing used on cell phone cases. The same. And the first thing we need to remember is that this is the front and this is the back. So the orange sticker is the back. It has the adhesive on it that's going to be peeled off. And this also tells us this is the top and it's the top left edge. So let's figure out exactly where we're going to put it. And again, for the best fit, you'll notice that there's about a 32nd or a 64th inch frame around the entire thing now this is smart and it's designed just like most cell phones are if this edge is up here at all it's going to come off so they want the glass protected and we designed it to fit all around the glass screen and not to overlap so let's start with the tape so we told you you needed some painter's tape so peel off <clears throat> about a 12 inch strip and we're simply going to attach it to the back of the display like this and just about like that this is going to create a hinge and the hinge is going to help us drop the display down and after we hook this up we're going to show you how to use the lint remover now you might get a piece of lint underneath here so we're going to pretend we have some but if you keep the windows closed and the air conditioning off Chances are you won't. So the next step is to line it up. So we're gonna put this on the display and hold it from the bottom, get it exactly where we want, all the way across the top, with a tiny little sliver on the top, the bottom, and the sides. A little sliver of glass, and that's it. Just push it down, make a ridge with your finger, don't let it move and you've created the hinge. And now we're gonna lift it up. So see how it's just holding on? Simple, easy. Now we're gonna peel this off and then we're gonna show you how to get any lint out, just in case you got a little speck of dust, okay? So this is labeled number three. So let's pull the white tab, 
pull it all the way off. And this is your last chance now to get any little dust specks out. And if you don't take this opportunity to do that, you're going to risk lifting it up again. So let's just assume you got a little speck here. This is real tacky and sticky. It doesn't leave residue on it. Okay. So now everything is clean and we're done. So watch this now, okay? We're going to let it go. We're going to draw a line down the middle. And we're going to watch the surface tension of the adhesive push the air out from the sides. So you just drop it down and draw a line down the middle. And now the adhesive is pulling and pushing the air out. And just sit back and watch. Wait it out. And as soon as that's done, you're going to take your finger or take number two, which is the cloth. And we're simply going to check for air gaps or little pockets of air. That went down really nice and perfect. Now it did that because it was super clean and there was nothing to stop the flow of air pushing out under the glass. I mean, look at that, crystal clear, perfect installation, no air pockets. Turn the screen back on. You're ready to go. And look at how bright it is. Look at how clear it is. The backup camera came on, okay. So anyway, now there is always the possibility for the first few minutes we've noticed after installing some of these that there is tension from the glass. Now you see a finger puts pressure on it, but if you get any issues with your screen turning or anything happening, it's not from moisture since this is a dry installation, but it's from a little pressure over here. And for some reason that seems to keep getting turned on. So what we suggest you do to help recalibrate it if needed is to just turn over to your steering wheel, hold down the two buttons, reset your system. Uh, we think this is good to do for all Model 3 owners every week or two. It's just good to reboot the computers. It's like starting your phone over and closing all your apps on your cell phone. After about five seconds, the logo will show up. The car is completely rebooted and restarted all the systems a little tip from us to do every week or two. It resets your Bluetooth, your uh, internet, LTE, everything reboots, everything restarts. It connects back to your phone, uh, your streaming radio. It's going to have to reconnect to everything, but it's really good to do to give your car a fresh start. And uh, Sapphire Silver is ready to go. And you can see now how beautiful this is. And now let's talk about fingerprints, okay? So I've got an angle up here towards the windshield and we're gonna to try to get the focus on my finger. And if you get my finger focused, you should be able to see the glass. And this stuff is just great. I mean, this coating, it just doesn't make fingerprints. I don't know, we don't know why Tesla didn't do this. I'm pushing straight on over and over and I can't see anything. So again, this glass is great for glare and also protection, uh, an airbag deployment. This is gonna not allow glass to break from the display and it's gonna prevent fingerprints. And you have great protection, you can't scratch it because you've got this nine inch super hard glass screen over the front and it's super transparent, anti-scratch, anti-fingerprint. Now shipping RPM Tesla, and like I said, we've got 200 in stock. We're gonna ship same day if you order it by itself. If you order it with other items, please give us a couple more days. Thanks again for checking in. Beautiful Southern California with lots of traffic. Aren't you glad you're not in Los Angeles like we are? Thanks again. This one we have shattered and destroyed during our testing. We want everyone to see that this surface is very smooth. And in the event, in the event of any kind of an airbag deployment, you're going to have this facing outward in the car. We think it's very safe with the extra coating on top. There's no sharp edges. 
Uh, again, we want to show scratch resistance. So now, on our brand new one, again, this is the front side. We want everyone to see how this super sharp knife that can cut through anything will not cut or scratch the screen of your Model 3. Nothing. Not even a mark. Super strength, 9H glass, RPM Tesla, scratch resistance, fingerprint resistant, glare resistant. Thanks again.